evening. Tonight, Tennessee State University is on the cusp of a major shakeup. Thanks for joining us here tonight. I'm Lauren Lowry. And this morning, the Tennessee House voted to vacate TSU's Board of Trustees. But as our Marissa Sulik explains, some lawmakers say that's not what was supposed to happen today. Today, House lawmakers were supposed to hear a bill that would vacate only three members of the TSU Board of Trustees. But some lawmakers say they were blindsided when Republicans brought forward a bill that would take away all of them. In an unexpected turn, House Republicans brought forward the same amendment the Senate passed last week. It would vacate the entire TSU board and let Governor Lee reappoint all 10 members. But that's not the version lawmakers passed in committees. Your committee passed that amendment and we had an agreement because it was the right thing. The House was right. But now at the 11th hour, we're going to pull this. The bill passed even though Democrats tried to compromise. It's not the what it looks like it's being portrayed as on the House floor. House leadership says they have given this TSU board many chances over the years. They also say some Democrats were okay with getting rid of every board member. And we had conversations with Democrat lawmakers who voiced that they understood and they thought that vacating the board was not a bad idea. Now I was told when session started that there would be a substitute in conforming to the Senate bill. But Representative Harold Love says that was not the case for him. And as TSU looks for a new school president, he wonders what this could mean for the university's future. I don't know. And uh, I think that's a, a valid question to ask. What role will the old board uh, play? Um, but then when would it also be signed into law? 